Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add light leaks to your photos using Photoshop. Now, light leaks are when light enters the lens of a camera and you get these red or yellow splotches of color. And although it's technically not supposed to happen, some people like the look because it gives character to your photos. And I personally think it looks nice. So I'm going to show you how to recreate light leaks in Photoshop. First, go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Gradient. Now, under the Gradient bar, you want to go ahead and click the Gradient to edit it. And select this little arrow here, and select Reset Gradients. Here, you should find this blue, red, and yellow default gradient. Now, double-click the blue color swatch and make it black. Now, double-click the yellow color swatch and make it a mild orange something around FFBA00. Once you're happy with your colors, select OK. And we're just going to select OK for this and set the blending mode of the layer to screen so we can see what we're doing. Now you can already see the effect start to pop up, but now we just got to position it. So here we have a few different options. Scale, as you can see, the more scale, the more spread it out it is, and the less scale, the less spread out it is. Angle determines the angle of the gradients. And style is different styles, but I'm going to keep it at linear for now. And you should be able to keep it at linear too. So go ahead and dither doesn't hurt, it just makes it smoother. And you can actually click on the picture and move the gradient to wherever you'd like. So at this point you just want to adjust the scale, angle, and position to somewhere that looks good on your photo. Usually light leaks occur on the edges or corners of photos. Now if there's anything that you want to mask out, click on the white mask, select a large soft brush, and using the color black you can just paint on the gradient mask. And as you can see, you can remove parts of the light leak that you don't want. Also add some character so it's not a perfectly straight line. Also, you can adjust the opacity if it's looking too bright or not realistic. So there you go. You can also, if you don't like the gradient fill tool, use the actual paintbrush to paint your red color on a new layer, or use the actual gradient tool if you're more comfortable with that. So there's before and after. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.